What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into royalty, homeless, CJ So Cool, alleged. Ah, girl, don't even matter. So it appears that Hallie and DDG decided to work things out. Now, earlier this month, they were spotted out with baby Halo shopping, which wasn't that uncommon. I mean, they are going to be around each other because they have a child. But now just yesterday, they were spotted out again. This time, DDG was laying on Hallie's lap. TikTok seems to feel like Hallie may have gotten her man back. DDG has been kind of absent from social media and he just they know damn well it ain't no y'all ain't going nowhere sometimes you just kind of found that person just go on stick beside him just i think the goal is to find somebody to go through hell with because that's where we at tweeted out a happy mm -hmm. face now the other day ddg's brother dove tweeted out so random but in my whole life i never met anyone remotely even close to how nice hallie is she literally the nicest person in the world now it seems like dub is going through some problems himself with his girlfriend now it seems like they may have broken up people are getting that inclination after dub went live on youtube and the title of the video was hot single dad goes live but now although he has broken up with his girlfriend doesn't seem like his ex britney will be willing to take him back anytime soon she posted on instagram i finally found my person oh, but damn. britney also made some things clear she stated one thing i don't play about is my son i'll go to war with the whole world behind him and that's all i'm gonna say now let's move on to this next Next topic with Realty's daughter Carnation. Now she recently started her own YouTube channel where she posted a Q&A. She was asked some questions about her relationship with Kamari, as well as there have been some rumors going around that Carnation may be into girls. Anyways, this is what Carnation had to say about all of these questions and these responses that people have been having on her life. Hey girl. Get into the spicy, the spicy, the tea, what's tea type stuff. Do you still talk to Kamar? Who is that? Wait, I don't care. Anyways, next question. Would you guys collab with other YouTubers in Las Vegas? That's ridiculous. These kids should not be doing that. Yes, yes I will, but it's really up to my mom. But there's no YouTubers in Las Vegas. They're mostly in Houston or California, I think. Yeah. So, is you a stud or not? Did I ever say I was a stud? Did I? Be honest. Be completely honest. Do you stud wear hoop earrings? Do you stud do their edges? No, I don't think so. So, everybody that say I'm a stud, just stop, just stop. Cause I'm literally not a stud. Studs don't even do the edges. Studs don't take. Studs don't take that time to do their hair. Okay. Oh. Wow. So stop calling me a stud. Cause I'm not. I'm obviously not a freaking stud. Okay. So keep that in mind. For all the people over there that's calling me a stud. <sighs> oh, girl. Anyways, one nation ever dated girl. Guys, I'm too young today. And no, I will never, ever, ever, ever date a girl, guys. Get hit with the program. I'm not a stud. Okay? Well, first, why is everybody calling her gay? Let's start there. What is what is this about? What is what's going on here? I don't do that. No. Now I absolutely love Carnation's responses with her saying that she's only 13 and she's not even worried about dating right now. So why are people even throwing out this whole girl situation? But anyways, let's move on to this next topic with CJ So Cool. He recently posted photos with the twins and Santa. He stated, y'all probably thinking, CJ, it's not even Thanksgiving yet. But listen, this is a first for me. <laughs> my very first Christmas photos with my twins and I couldn't wait to share this special moment with y'all. When you've been through every Everything I have, you realize how precious memories like this are. So yeah, call me early, but I call it so cool timing. Now, for those of you that didn't know, Royalty doesn't celebrate Christmas. So this is CJ's first Christmas being able to celebrate 
without royalty. If you guys didn't know, royalty states that she is a Jehovah's Witness, so they don't celebrate holidays. Come on, let's take photos with Santa. Let's take photos with Santa. CJ, go on the other side. I don't agree with the lap sitting. That's their side. Okay, good. She's they sitting in the chair. Good. God is good. Just gave the kids a first Santa Claus experience. Look at this, Daddy. We took pictures with Santa Claus. I'm very excited. I got the pictures on my phone. I got them in my bag. I got I got everything, man. Hard copies, digital copies. Y'all wanna see it? Now comment states, I love the pictures, but why does it seem like a lot of y'all are de eating this man for doing the bare minimum? Like OMG, he buys his kids clothes. We have to stop praising the bare minimum when it comes to raising your kids. He has all this money. I hope he be providing for his kids. It's just weird because y'all have to bring the next person, his BM and her kids down to lift the next person, CJ up. And it gives that he condones this behavior because he likes y'all's comments. Like what the F is funny about homeless jokes the issue is weird and for the internet cj responds with i haven't saw any bad comments bringing them down are you sure you aren't here spreading negativity so now this person is stating that cj was allegedly liking comments that were speaking down on royalty and the other kids calling them homeless and other people were also stating that royalty was upset that cj took the kids to take photos with santa but i mean they are not together right now they have different beliefs so if on his time he wants to take the kids to take photos with santa it's really nothing that she could do about it it sucks when i'm going through the comments and i'm hard and every last one on you can go verify if you don't believe me too and i see like four people for no reason hating saying he thinks just because he bought his kids some clothes, that's being a good dad. Like, wait, first of all, I never said that. I never said, guys, I bought my kids some new clothes. I'm the greatest mm -hmm. father ever. <laughs> what the freak? I never said that. My kids have to wear clothes. They keep growing. They keep getting bigger, and I have to keep providing for them. That's what the father does. I'm a great father because I'm in my kids' life. I'm a present dad. I do for them. I play with them. I feed them. I dress. so stupid that he has to explain this them i bathe them i brush their teeth when they crying and they want attention i give it to them i'm all i can be you in the rubber band baby come on man let me show them why i'm the greatest dad in the world look when they need rubber bands i got them on deck what are you talking about bro this ain't about no clothes i ain't trying to show off i'm just trying to show you guys what i'm doing in the present time and four people, of course. So it looks like Armand is about to be switching up career choices. Seems like he's going from singer to YouTuber to now a boxer. Everybody trying to rumble in it. Yo. What's up, Neff? I told you, man. You want rumble, Neff? Whoever. Neff, you want rumble? Whoever, man. Hey, Neff. Um, yeah. Hey, Neff. What, so, what I got to get another R&B single? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Or you can get whoever. I'm trying to get in there. What are we doing? You gonna get I'm in there, Neff, and rumble? I'm gonna get in there and stop whoever. Hey, GD, what's up? up? How much? Hold on, Mike. How much you weigh? One sixty-five. Ooh, Neff, I'm gonna DM you when I get all Come on, man. Let me know. <laughs> All right, y'all, we reached our eight minute mark. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. <laughs> Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.